Okay, this is cycle 2, week 15 in Great Artist. We are learning about Thomas Gainesville this week. Um, so we've got our paper clips and our post-it that's going to go right back on when we're done. Um, and then back into our blue folder. But um, I'm just going to go over so some of his facts. Um, so he has 372 paintings that are published in his lifetime. And that's slightly irrelevant when you don't know anything about art, but that's a lot. Um, some of the people that we're studying and just in general might have two or three. Um, think about it as like a MLB pitcher. The, I think the average lifespan of a pitcher is two or three pitchers or something like that. So that's the same thing, like um, 372 known published works is a ton. It's, it's it was really unheard of at the time and in general. Um, he's best known for doing portraits, so um, I have like show blue boy, but he really loved to do landscapes. Um, so good to know, good to know that just because he loved doing something doesn't mean that that's what he was known for. Um, and you can definitely relate that to, you know, people in your class and life. And just because someone is really good at something doesn't mean it's what they love to do. Um, and then the last fact is kind of an interesting one. He founded the Royal Academy in London, and it might not mean a whole lot for some people, but it's an interesting fact because there are definitely a lot of famous artists that have gone through that, and it's still around. And there's no one that we're studying in this cycle or next cycle, unfortunately. But if you start to see some of the names and you start to know that this was a really big deal and a lot of people like really look up to this because it wasn't at the time, this Royal Academy, they wanted the best artist that you could be. They didn't want you to conform to something and they didn't want you to um, do what the government was saying or what someone else was saying. They wanted you to do what you could do best in art. Um, so that's kind of a cool thing and then it's still around. Um, so that's the facts. So I just wanted to go over those because they're a little bit not as easy um, as so he was really known, Gainsborough, was really known for doing like very quick, light strokes um, and he loved using new techniques and new materials, kind of why, back to why he founded the Royal Academy. He wanted other people to do that as well. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a piece of cardstock and um, I lightly, uh, there you go, I drew lines and then I folded it too. I think you can do either one depending on your class. Um, what's going to be easier. You have to bring in pencils if you want to draw the line or you can just fold it or you can have parents fold it or whatever. I don't really care. Get it in four sections. That's that's the point of this um, to do that. So you're going to have that um, and you're, all of the materials that are on the materials list, I have more materials than that. So please like watch this video. Not that you would look at it. Um, just so you have everything. Um, I'm going to add paper plates that those will be in the initial thing that you had with a week 15 tab on them and um, closed pins that are in the directions but not in the materials list. So, and those will also be, we got this really big, I took everything out, but it's a really big week 12 bag that has most of your materials in it for the week, but just make sure that everything's there because sometimes it's not. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do like timed stations. And so um, there's four different stations. And so at most you're gonna have two kids a station. Chances are you might only have one at a few stations and that's fine. And I think if we gave everyone like two to three minutes per station, and I know that's probably more than they need, but we also have to fill up the time. So it's kind of a balance. Um, so each station is gonna have a paper plate and I put all four stations on one plate. You will have one station per plate. I did this just for saving purposes. Okay, so you're gonna have a shaving cream station. You're gonna have a glitter paint station. You're gonna have a dark color station and a neon station, four colors. I would say use less paint rather than more and you can always just fill it up rather than putting a ton on and kind of like wasting it. And then you're gonna use the, you're not gonna use the temper paints, you're gonna use the paints from week three that 
were in your grant. So hopefully they're still there. If not, it's not the end of the world. But I would use those paints because they're a little bit brighter and bolder. And the neon paint is in a Gladware inside of that week 12 set. So I'm going to example each station for you. So doesn't matter the station. So what if a kid starts on the shaving cream station, he can start in this corner. Just have them work through and just do it on a different section each time they move, every two to three minutes, um, if that makes sense. So it doesn't matter. Like this one doesn't have to be the neon station or whatever, but it just, it, they need to, when they move seats, they need to move different to different parts on the paper. So put a name label on the back. That's going to be your search. And then, um, so I'm just going to example some of these stations. So I have clothespins like this. So if kids don't want to um, get their hands dirty at all, I think it's more fun if they do, but they don't have to. Um, so the first one, I'm, I don't want it. Um, oh, you can't see. Okay, I'll look this up. So you're, okay, sorry. This is kind of a hard one. Remember all those easy ones? This one's not as easy. So the bubble wrap comes in really big sections like this. This is how we got it, and I didn't want to cut it down because I kind of wanted kids to be able to cut it down. So I ripped a tiny little section off, and that's probably all kids are going to need. They can do different sections. Um, maybe they want to make a, like a figure out of it, like a circle or an animal or something, and then they can put it on there. But so they're going to take, remember, this is the whole paper. I'm just doing this for showing purposes. but and you just kind of move it around like that. And it's essentially gonna be a stamp. So then we're gonna stamp it on, pull it off. You can do the same one a few times. You can go back. Okay, so that's one station. The second station is a feather and shaving cream. Um, the shaving cream doesn't have anything in it and it probably will dry clear, but that's just, it's just the point of trying stuff. And so, they are going to paint, and you can't, I mean, you can see it. Um, so that's the second station. The third station is, there is a whole menagerie of plastic toys, and they are going to do it, and I said in a dark color so we can see it, because if you use a lighter color, I fear that you're not gonna be able to see the little hoof prints. So I'll lift this up, here's my dark color, and I'm gonna walk, in that and then they're going to walk across the paper. Have a mom at the end clean these off for me please and um, put them in the bag but don't zip lock the bag because if you close the bag and it's wet then mold and mildew comes in. So leave the bag open but wash them off please. Thank you. Um, and then so that's that station right so we get it like whatever. Um, and then the last station is eggshells and that's probably the biggest one that they're going to use the clothes pins on but they don't have to either and they can use the tips of them they can use the outside of them I will have some I'll probably ask some of you tutors to bring in the eggs that you use that morning as well um, I'm not going to example that one because I didn't have an egg shell handy but you get it um, so yeah I just said a lot of children four minutes per station if kids are done or they want to go back to a station that's fine but the idea is just that like you just like moved quickly and tried new things and did things that maybe you wouldn't think about and so that's what I tried to do on this one and so the other thing that you could do is maybe just talk about hey how was using that feather or how was using the bubble wrap what did you think what were the challenges what were the successes in those kinds of things so sorry this video is long but I hope that makes sense and I hope this one goes well because I think it will be really cool to try out different things. It's just going to be a lot from a tutor side, so thanks for your patience.